The first one I saw was Seven Seal. I saw it in Paris in the early 60s. And for me, it was like an explosion. And that was the moment Europe was discovering Bergman. And I said, you are my master. Because of you, I became a filmmaker. So therefore, I have to do this film. This was Ingmar's favorite restaurant. He liked it because he could see the entrance and a friend and actress might come in and he wanted to know, are they seeing somebody? He threw script girls out through the door all the time. And they also said, if he stares at you, stare back. And then you stood together for? For 30 years. And he stopped and he looked at, at me. You. And that was the beginning. He said, would you like to be in a movie with me? He allowed the actors to be creative. I will use my body and my soul to do this piece that he wants it to be. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. my will here. Look. Why is it so difficult? If you have such a good understanding for your own childhood, mm -hmm. why can't you understand your own child? One of my sisters said, how would it be if you just for one single second said, I miss my children or my grandchildren? Oh my God. And he looked at her, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> The one thing that you shouldn't forget about Bergman is that he's showing sides of himself that he's not proud of, and he dares to go there and be as honest as possible. He never thought that he was good enough. This was a moment of deep crisis for him. It was like he looked in the mirror and he saw your face, but it was his soul he saw. That's why he was so great. As if the filmmaker Ingmar has said, from this day on, this is possible. We can make film like this. <laughs> <laughs>